Today we will be testing magnetic iron PLA by Proto Pasta. It comes in two different sizes, 1.75 mm and 2.85 mm. It is a lovely filament to print with. However, after printing a whole spool, uh, it is recommended that you change your nozzle uh, purely because it's such an abrasive filament to work with. It's okay if you're just doing little things, then you don't need to change your nozzle. It's only if you're doing, as I said, a whole spool, uh, then it is recommended that you change your nozzle. If you don't know where to buy your nozzles from, please check out 3D Filler Print's website. It is down below in the description where you'll find links to the filament and nozzles as well. As for printing, it really is a lovely filament to print with. There are so many different things you can do with the filament, ranging from if you're a modeler, you can, you know, print little nails on little rivets on your models and it rusts as well, so it looks great. I will show you that later on. Take the sea salt or any table salt once you take the lid off and then crack it into the warm water. It doesn't matter how much you use, the saltier the better. And once that's done then stir around until the salt has dissolved into the water. Uh, leaving no salt behind to make the water nice and salty. Then once you've done that, take the magnetic iron object that you have and drop it into the water, making sure that it doesn't float to the top. Once that's done, then leave for 24, 48, or however long you wish to leave it. I have done three different tests one at 24 hours, one at 48 hours, and another one at seven days. This one here is done at 24 hours. All I've done is painted the salt water on with my finger uh, as you can see it hasn't really rusted uh, there are very little rust marks on it you can just really faintly see in the grooves uh, the light really is just catching bare minimal uh, just around the edges here you can see that there is just a little bit of rust there's hardly any on the back uh, 24 hours of just painting it on really is not good so after 24 hours I went for 48 hours only this time I completely submerged the print in the water as you can see there are a lot more rust it's really gone rusty in the grooves uh, where the print has done its job around the sides you can see there that it's really rusty on the back in certain places it's starting to look a bit more worn um, and yeah it seems to have rusted quite well using the 48 hours in the water as you can see there's 24 hours there and 48 hours but the 48 hours certainly has rusted more than the 24 we've just painted it on so it does look like the submersion in the salt is the way forward. So after 48 hours, I decided what would happen if I was to leave it in for seven days. So 
after seven days this is what it looks like as you can see it really is rusty uh, it does look like it's just been dug up out of the garden or left out in the rain for a long period of time but it's not it's only seven days in the salt water and yeah it just looks brilliant you can see that in the groove it is completely rusted even on the back it does look really worn and very used uh, <laughs> but it's not it's a brand new print welcome back as you saw in the past videos it's a lovely filament to print with it rusts really easy and in the title it does say that it is also magnetic as well well what I have here are two of the spanners that I have printed being held together by um, magnets uh, as you can see there it is actually being held together by the magnets there are, my hand is nowhere near it uh, you can see quite clear through How, if I remove it it is really quite strong the magnets as well the magnetic bond between the two is uh, really good so if you are a model maker and you are having to you know move something on a daily basis or even if you're like redecorating a shop window and you have like a sign or something like that that needs to be moved on a daily basis or you want to be moved around then magnetic iron would be the one for you because you can just quite easily just stick stuff together and uh, you know you don't take much to remove it neither because uh, you can just put it apart so it really is a fantastic filament to work with so not just can you make it look old by using the salt water bath but you can also stick it together um, what more can I say it is a fantastic filament to work with I've been dead impressed with it I know that I will certainly use this again in some future product projects if you want to buy a magnetic iron by a proto pasta please go and have a look in the description below the links will be there which will take you straight to this page uh, where you can buy it it is lovely filament to print with and rust and <laughs> it's magnetic as well it's filament does it all if you want it as I said go down check the links it's just brilliant okay next week what we'll be looking at will be the easy wood range from this company here that you can see uh, we will be using the coconut wood from them it would be interesting to see how it prints on my c2c uh, so i'm really looking forward to showing you guys bye